Hospital Day 8, good afternoon. A quick message to say thank you to everyone that's been sending messages of support, your thoughts, your prayers, your love. Thank you so much. A quick update, my journey to health over the past couple of months, my tumors are still shrinking and I'm on track to regain balance in my body. Over the past month though, I've had a bit of a hiccup with my lung, with lots of fluid buildup. I've got one of the top cardiothoracic surgeons in the country, busy fixing me up at the moment, along with my incredible oncologist. So hopefully I'll be in ICU for just another week or two. And once I'm out, I'll be back on my feet and back on radio. I asked how cancer affected and changed my life. I went through many cycles of chemotherapy and landed up being too weak to continue with varsity and had to quit. I lost my hair and being incredibly ill took a toll on me and my family. How did I handle it emotionally? Well, I believed I could fight it. I imagined placing my hand on my lungs and kidneys and ripping the cancer out. I motivated myself by saying that when I'm in remission, I'm going to chase my dream and become a radio DJ. Well, I did beat it and then spent the next eight years auditioning to be on radio and got there eventually. But what about the financial implications? Back then, I wasn't prepared. But now know that there are solutions that can help when you're facing a life-changing event such as cancer. Next week, I'll share a little bit more about the financial impact. of. Hi, everybody. Mark Pilgrim here. Today being the 5th of June, Happy Cancer Survivors Day. And if this applies to you, let me tell you, you are so much more than a survivor. You are a thriver. And a mantra which I'm living by when I got diagnosed in Feb this year with stage 4 lung cancer. In the words of Deepak Chopra, believe the diagnosis don't believe the prognosis. You determine how the story ends. You've got to live your life. In your mind, you have to say, I am cured. Cardiovascular disease and cancer are the two biggest claim causes with insurers when it comes to lifestyle challenges. My name is Mark Pilgrim, and I've had both a heart attack and stage three cancer. How did I get testicular cancer? No idea. All I know is that it's the most prevalent cancer amongst men aged 18 to 35. I can't say if it was days or weeks that went by with its swelling. The reason I don't know is that us men are often in denial when something appears wrong. When I did realize something was up, I didn't want to tell mum because what 18 year old wants mum to look down there? Every day I left it though, the cancer was spreading to other parts of my body. And by the time I had the guts to go to my mum, I was diagnosed with cancer of the testes, lungs and kidneys. So what's my message today? If you find an anomaly, don't bury your head in the sand. Get it checked out. It could save your life. So if like me, you like exercising, but you don't really want to go to the gym. One great opportunity to exercise is just have a look at your environment. Because at home, there's possibly things you can use. For a dumbbell, I use the lounge lamp. For a barbell, I use my 25 kilogram daughter who with her permission lies horizontally and I do arm curls. And for cardio, I live in a seven story building. Uh, so I'm climbing up the stairs of the apartment complex, up and down. I've done the equivalent of about 56 floors so far. Uh, that's the penthouse. I don't have access. I live much further down. So look at your environment, do the exercise. Sad news has hit the television industry, reporting the death of a television personality, Mark Pilgrim. Mark Pilgrim was diagnosed with testicular cancer 34 years ago, then stage four lung cancer in February 2022, after the remission of 33 years ago. Born on September 20th, 1969, Mark Pilgrim passed away on Sunday, 5th, March 2023. Mark Pilgrim shall forever be remembered for touching souls through his inspirational videos that helped heal hearts of millions of people on and off air across the world.
Pilgrim has been working on radio since late 1980s where he started with Compass Radio and then 5FM, 947-702, KFM and lately HOT 102.7. Despite his diagnosis, Mark Pilgrim kept public to date, thereby sharing his health updates on social media, encouraging others on how to survive with cancer. Born in a small village in the United Kingdom and then migrated to South Africa at the age of nine, Mark Pilgrim is survived by his fiancée Adrian and his two daughters Taylor Jane and Eliza. Our thoughts are with Mark Pilgrim's family and loved ones, and may his soul rest in eternal peace. You are watching Touch News Media, and please consider subscribing and turning on your notification bells so that you don't miss out on any video that we upload. I love you guys, and keep safe. Bye bye. asked how cancer affected and changed my life. I went through many cycles of chemotherapy and landed up being too weak to continue with varsity and had to quit. I lost my hair and being incredibly ill took a toll on me and my family. How did I handle it emotionally? Well, I believed I could fight it. I imagined placing my hand on my lungs and kidneys and ripping the cancer out. I motivated myself by saying that when I'm in remission, I'm going to chase my dream and become a radio DJ. Well, I did beat it and then spent the next eight years auditioning to be on radio and got there eventually. But what about the financial implications? Back then, I wasn't prepared. But now know that there are solutions that can help when you're facing a life-changing event such as cancer.